Hi everybody! Welcome back! I felt like I wanted to make this video because since um, announcing that I want to be a missionary, I've learned that a lot of people really don't understand much about missions. So I want to make some videos to kind of explain what missions are and what they are intended to be, although obviously being humans we mess stuff up. But I'd like to look in the Bible and kind of see examples of how missions ought to be done. And also I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the, the nitty gritty side of life as well. So first of all, when a missionary is not. A missionary is not an explorer. I've had somebody ask me that. They, this, <laughs> and they could do it as part of what their job is, but uh, that's not their main. They don't go on safaris every day. I'm just like the adventure kind of missionary. Like I, I travel and I ride camels and I have this fantastic blog and. Yeah, I kind of find myself like doing like the humanitarian type of stuff, which is great. It's important. Um, but like I never ever like crack open a Bible and I mean I don't want to offend people and I want to take it just really gentle and easy and then like you know that's what I do I should mention humanitarian work is extremely wonderful and beautiful and I think that it should go hand in hand with missions work uh, but just because you're doing humanitarian work does not equal being a missionary. <laughs> There's a verse in the Bible that says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Gospel means good news. So in a general sense, all Christians who have experienced a new life with Christ are commanded to go and preach the good news. And so all Christians are commanded to witness. But if every Christian should witness, what exactly is a missionary? Missionary. A person sent by a church into an area, especially a newly settled region or foreign country, to carry on evangelism or other activities. Reflected or prompted by the desire to persuade or convert others. Missionary. Um, biblically speaking, a Christian missionary is somebody who's been touched by God and they want to reach other people and, and kind of be there on the scenes as God is touching others. I like to describe it this way. Picture a military. You have different branches of the military and they all have a common goal, right? And they all have different roles in that goal, right? Let's say you have a specialist who can uh, defuse bombs and that's their specialty. And you have a group over here that really has a bunch of bombs they need to have defused, but the specialist is all the way over there. They call up the division that has the specialist, they say, hey, we need you over here, send the specialist. The specialist says, I'm on my way. That's kind of what a missionary does. The church is global. There are people that have been reached by God and touched by him all over the world. But sometimes they need a specialist. And so they might call up the church in another part of the world and say, hey, we need help. Or it could be the case of there's no military in an area, and the military is like, you know what? We need somebody in this area to keep the people safe there. We need to send somebody into that area. That's kind of what a missionary is. They're either going in on the front lines to um, be the first ones on the scene, or they're coming along to help a church that's already there. And so a missionary is somebody who is being sent from one section of the church to another section of the church to do a special job. And that is a incredible privilege and honor. Let's talk about different ways that missionaries get to the field. Because they do do it in Let's talk about different ways mission Let's talk about different ways that missionaries get to the field they're going to. Let's say you've been called to a certain area of the world to help and you feel like, okay, I, I've got to go. How do you get there? Because um, let's be practical. You have to be able to afford to live there, to work there, to do whatever it is you're doing. 
Some missionaries are tent-making missionaries. These, um, they get their name from the Apostle Paul in the Bible. He made tents to support himself as he traveled around. And so a self-supporting missionary who actually gets a job where they're going and um, earns money that way is called a tent-making missionary. Um, there are pros and cons to it though, because they have to divide their time because they have a secular job, plus, plus they want to do their missions work. Um, also, they don't have a, a very big network of churches, oftentimes, that know about their work and are praying for them and encouraging them. So, like I said, pros and cons on all of these options. Um, another way that some denominations do is that all the churches in that denomination are connected and when they give money towards missions, it all goes to a central pot. And then when missionaries feel called to go somewhere, they all get automatically a salary from that central pot. And they don't have to worry about um, where the money's coming from or if they're going to get a paycheck that month. I don't know what the name for that kind of missionary is. I need to look that up. Okay. The third kind that I know of is um, the option that I'm choosing to go with, and that's called um, when you go on deputation in order to be able to afford to be a missionary. Um, you know what deputized is, right? The sheriff deputizes people, and then they are deputies, and they have his authority to do things. So um, basically, if you go on deputation as a missionary, you travel to churches and ask them if they want to partner with you. And if they are interested in the work that you're doing and they like you as a person and feel like they want to help you and encourage you and support you, they become your partner and they deputize you to act on their behalf in the area that you're going. And that includes financial help as well as prayer and just general interest and caring about what's going on in your ministry. I really like that option because I just love the idea of having all of these people behind me who are encouraging me and praying for me. And so yeah, that is what I am preparing to do right now. I'm in the process of all of that. I'm going to make a video soon on what it's like to start deputation from a beginner's perspective. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. And I want to say something really quick. If you are a Christian and you've always thought that, you know, the church is kind of separated into missionaries and then non-missionaries or pastors, missionaries, and then the people that just sit in the pews, so to speak, I'd like to encourage you to think outside of the box on this issue maybe inside of the book. If we take a look at the Bible, we see that the church is a family. And pastors and missionaries and lay, lay people are all working together. That's why I really like the idea of being deputized because it emphasizes the fact that when a missionary goes somewhere, they're doing it with the help of a bunch of people and with the prayers of a bunch of people. It's all of these people caring about these other people where they're going. That makes it such a wonderful thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was interesting to you. I am going to be making more videos about kind of the personal side of being a missionary and what goes on behind the scenes. If that's interesting to you, please subscribe and become a part of my little family. I also do videos on things I'm learning about other cultures because that's like, that's exciting to me. So food videos and language videos and blah, 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 blah. Yes, and I'm very hyper right now. I'm like full of adrenaline, so I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. I say that every single video. I'm sorry. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Goodbye! Class dismissed.